All right. How are we doing? Looking good? Microphone? Check. Looking good? All right. All right, all right, all right. I should have brought the game up. Yeah, it did. Perfect. <clears throat> hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. So, today we are going to continue the 10 years later playthrough. So, <clears throat> I've thought about it. There are a couple more buildings in the area. I might try to search one of them on my way out. But, um, I think I am just going to leave. And I'm going to go through the woods and come out the other side and try and get to the storage lockers that are up by the warehouse in the north. I don't want to take the road because it's going to take too long. So that's going to be the plan right out the gate. I don't know what else is going to happen from there. So we're just going to have to... <clears throat> we're going to have to wing it. We are going to have to wing it. The dog is asleep. She has been a lot... She's been more drained since the summertime started. And it's not because I walk her. In fact, I walk her much less than I used to. I think it's just because of the heat we've had this summer. She's just... She sleeps a lot more than she used to in the wintertime. All right. So we are still at a heavy load. It's because of the duffel bag and the bowl. I'm going to drop the bowl... As much as I want to bring the duffel bag with me, I can't afford it. One thing I'm kind of kicking myself for is this duct tape. I really wish I could bring this with me because I could fix my baseball bat with it and my machete. Oh well. <clears throat> I'm not looking back. I don't remember everything that's... Completely everything that's in that room. So... No going back now. Time to go. I'm just gonna cut through here. I've done a pretty good job of clearing out the zombies in the area, so I'm not too concerned about cutting through this part. You actually might get rid of my boredom. Yeah, right there. Okay. <laughs> You want to get rid of your boredom, I guess you... All you got to do is go fight. It's the panic, really. Your character isn't bored if uh, they're panicked. You'll see that whenever they have a night terror as well. Whenever they wake up, if you stayed inside all day, and then you go to sleep and your character wakes up from a night terror... They, uh, they lose their boredom. There's a lot of zombies here. So, it's not too far of a walk. I kind of want to poke my head in here real quick. That's just a book. <clears throat> so 
there's a road that runs behind these houses. And it actually leads into the golf course. I don't want to go into the golf course. I actually just want to take it out. So I need to go up. Because that's where the country club is. I don't want to run too much, but should be yeah right here okay my heart was about to sink if it wasn't here now i think uh i think i am i don't know where to go i think i want to stay on this road oh hey you see that car Got matches. No key. Oh, this looks... <clears throat> this looks promising. door's broken. That one's barricaded. This one's broken. Well, there's a couple zombies in here. Come on, don't stop it. You see the lag spike, too? I don't know why that happens. Every single time, a zombie turns to a crawler. It's just weird. Wish I could take those spare engine parts. I bet those gonna those are gonna be useful. Yeah, there's a lot here. I was hoping to find maybe the key to, to that van. It's a pipe dream. I wish I could take those. <clears throat> I don't even really know why I'm searching these. I guess just to mark them off. Or, you know, take mental note of what's out here. Ooh, box of nails. Twenty six seventy. That's worth it. Trade a battery for a box of nails. Tomorrow's going to be 53. It's getting warmer. 14 mile an hour winds. So the wind is also calming down too. I'm not coming back to this spot, probably, so no point in... What's this? No point in, in leaving the food there, but, but what's this? Oh, of course. 
a sec. What is this? It's like completely fenced in. Is this a parking lot? Oh, of course, it's where they keep the dumpsters. Okay. Back on the road. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh, there's a lot of zombies. Maybe I should just cut straight through the trees right there instead. Okay, so I do have a plan. I, d I do know kind of where I'm going. I've done this once before. A long time ago, back before there were cars. And Riverside had just come out. And this was before there were mailboxes in Riverside, which was annoying because if you didn't get lucky enough to find the generator magazine in Riverside, like in the bookshelves and in the bookstore and all that, uh, you relied on the mailboxes. Well, when Riverside first came out, there were no mailboxes. So I had to travel to a whole different place just to find the magazine. I actually went to the country club. And to try and save time, I found a way to do it quite quickly. Man, there are a lot of zombies out here. The golf course is just as bad as the, uh... Oh, this is where I led the that huge group. I doubt that that was, like, all of them but I'm sure they dispersed into smaller groups. And re remember from the settings, something I didn't change, uh, although I thought really hard about doing so, was the zombies can group into a horde of 200. So that's, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> I don't even know what I would, how I would fight that without fire. I, I don't, I don't know how you would, how you would do that. Unless I could one tap zombies with like a baseball bat or an axe or something. I wanted to check this parking lot, and there's one car and too many zombies for me to feel comfortable checking it. So I'm going to go back to my plan. I'm almost there. I'm almost to the spot where I need to enter the woods. Going into the woods is going to be scary. I don't really know if this is the smartest play because of how overgrown everything is and how many zombies there are right now. But I do know that it would take me all day now just to get there versus maybe the start of the next hour. And it's right here. You just find that far corner of the road and you cut upward like it's an arrow, like you follow that road like it's an arrow and it points you in the direction. You come up this way. This is where it gets scary. And here you are. Now, I don't even want to mess with all the zombies out here. I just want to get in. Okay. Numbers here don't look too bad. First things first. <laughs> 
you need to die in here. He did not drop a key. So I want to try and get a zombie to drop a key for me. So I'm going to be luring him into these storage lockers. And then I will bash them over the head. There's a key. Okay, so real quick. This is a U store key zero zero one. So now, I can open up all of the lockers in this. <clears throat> so now I want her to come over here. She did not drop one. have to find a new zombie to come be my test subject. Okay, this is three. I don't really want three. So I'm going to go around the building and see if maybe one or two of them make their way around. It's going to take that guy a while, by the way, to break out of there, so I'm not going to worry about him. <laughs> I'm just going to leave him chill. Yeah, see, just like that. He did not drop the key. Next. This, I can rename you store key zero zero two. Now I want to save those other zombies over there in case I need them because they're they're not hurting anyone right now. Oh. Well. This lady kind of messes with my plans a little bit. I don't want to be seen by any of those zombies. Although I have been. It's okay. Just going to come in here. Gonna see if I can't get a key. Whoa. She came up on uh, <laughs> she came up on me in a way I wasn't expecting. Still no key. Let's see. Oh. The zombie's got a gun on its back. Pack of cigarettes, too. But no key.
just gonna have to deal with both of them. They're being stubborn. They are not giving me what I want. Stop. <laughs> Just see the way she turned around. She's like, dude, why'd you have to push me? I was just doing my thing. I wasn't bothering anybody. Now I'm gonna come and fuck you up. <laughs> All right, zombie. Well, none of them dropped me a key. Zombie in there. Are there any hiding in? No. Okay, well, I've got this one. This guy is the one I was saving. I think I have one more down there as well. Come on, bud. We gotta go for a little walk. Need you to try and help me. See if you can help me get these doors open. You coming? You got arthritis of the legs? In here. This this is where I killed them all. By them all, I'm assuming like people you Well This key is being super elusive. I'm gonna have to look for outside help. Yeah, that's just two. Okay. I really don't want... Oh, well, look at that. There's another one there. It's okay. I'll save that one. I don't know where it's off to, but... It's, it's not going anywhere if it goes that way. Come here, zombies. Come here. See if she dropped a key quick. If so, I might be able to save the other zombie. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. I was going to say, either he's really slow or he got confused. There we go. So we're going to rename this. I left the other one's lowercase, didn't I? Hmm. I'm like that. You store key 003. Now all I'm missing is four. And maybe this person will give it to me. Yep. Nice. Okay. 
You do not need to be saved for anything. Fall over. And you stop making so much noise. Had enough of that. Next, I would like the key for this building. This is U store key zero zero four. And this can go on the key ring and then give me this. I'm gonna go ahead and deal with this zombie. And now I can rename this. Maybe that's a good name, I guess. I heard something. This window's open. That'll have to be barricaded and sealed shut at some point. But I have the key to all of the buildings. <laughs> I'm fine with it if they come around. Lighter and matches. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the baseball bat for a second. And, um, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop my bag too. I don't really need it right now. I just kind of want to clear up some zombies here in the area as I settle in. Because this is definitely where I'm staying for the night. This is like the safest place in this area. And I have the keys to everything, so... That um makes it kind of kind of big. Nope, stay down. That's the way. Gonna run back this way now. Grab my bag. that on my back. No key. Uh, at least I didn't see a key. I don't 
nothing in the trunk. So that kind of stinks. Go settle in. Oh. What the hell do you think you're doing? Got a little late for that game. Is there anyone else in here causing a racket? Okay. Dude bro's not here. Did I kill him already? Is he the one that wandered up over over that way some time ago? Hmm. Oh well. Looks like he's gone. I'll run over this way and, and check out this area, too, just to be sure I'm not missing any zombies that might have wandered in. I'm going to upset these guys, but... No. I think I'm good. So... This is where I'm going to be sleeping. Now, there's a couple of things. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and keep that open. And... one break? He mu- uh, yeah, he must have broke out of here. You know, usually it takes a lot longer for- for zombies to break out of these things. Weird. Let me see if I can find some fern- ooh! Desert camo poncho. That's- that's pretty sweet. I don't really know what I'm gonna be taking out of any of this right now. I'm just- gonna be poking through. Right now, I'm kind of just looking for... Oh, there's a TV. That's nice, but I can't I can't use it. I don't have the power. Is there a nice TV on here somewhere? I'm gonna set up, like, a table or something outside the locker that's mine so I can identify it as mine. As as mine's. Or... Here we go. Actually, wait a minute. I have to equip these if I want to carry them both. This, these I'd actually like to just put inside. So, drop, drop, drop. I'm going to pick this up and put it on top of it. Well, I don't like them there. Uh, I don't like them there either, because the light switch. Too bad. Put it there. I'm not going to spend forever. <laughs> um, I need one of these. I can put this down here, then. Oh, the plank is up there. Just put it on the shelf. Okay, that still doesn't solve my thing of wanting a little table. Ooh, an empty bucket. Just chuck that outside. Alright, 
Looks like this table is going to do. I'll take this. Put it down maybe like right here. And I'll grab this thing and I'll move it over there as well. There we go. This kind of gives me an identifying feature in front of it. Easy to lose yourself in this. I want to get rid of the vegetation in here. It just kind of makes it feel more lived in from the rest of the world now when it's different. And it doesn't even take that long as I've seen before I could do without the blood spot that's there on the ground but can I uh... can I move this mattress nice can I cover that blood spot sweet <laughs> I only need one mattress. So I'll take this one and tuck it in here. Whew. Already tired. Look at that. Drowsy. It's been a day. But there are some big warehouses around here. My chances of finding things like really good weapons and tools and stuff are, well, good. Grab the chips. Let's see what's in here. Now I've got generator spawn set to rare. I don't know what that's going to translate in game. I've never actually just changed the generator settings. Looks like there should be a door there. And here. There isn't. Where am I hearing that pounding? Oh. There's a zombie in the other room too, I thought. That window is going to continue to be a problem. Back to looking around. 
stuff in here it's not it's not good except for maybe the mannequin <laughs> but canned peaches I searched this one nothing another empty bucket Oh, there's a generator. Hmm. Okay. So I know where a generator is. Taking some damage here because I'm encumbered. I'm carrying a lot of stuff. It's gonna happen. Oh, you know what? I'm not ready to lock it. I want to drop this bucket out here. Oh, come on. I want to put this stuff up right away. I'll put food over here. I don't know how long I'll be in this area for. I'll probably look around for quite a while. I mean, this spot in particular is pretty safe um, unless I lead a bunch of zombies back here I can put the tent in there same with the mortar and pestle Clothing is going to have its own box. I want to try and stay a little bit more organized this time. That way, when I go through everything, I know what I'm looking at. In fact, I could use another two cardboard boxes. Not these ones. I want the ones that can stack like the ones that I have. Yeah, these ones. There's a lot of zombies out there. I'd like to find a way of fortifying that front area. And we don't open this and in the morning and have a chance of coming face to face with a zombie. Oh, just give me the VHS. There we go. All right. I'm going to take those beta blockers back, probably. Didn't mean to put those ones in there. I didn't take very many meds with me. Um, I took kind of just the bare essentials. So, that should be enough to get me by.
I'm gonna put the lighters up. And I'll keep the matches on me. And the crowbar I'm gonna put up. And then that can go on my back. The sewing kit, I'd rather put that in here. And same with the cigarette packs. Okay. It's 7 p.m., but I'm safe here, so I kind of want to poke around a little bit and really look through everything. There's some clothing there. You know, I might even consider... grabbing these clothes to just wear when I'm inside and not having to fight zombies. These I definitely want. Desktop computer, that, that seems kind of fun. TV, why not? Let's just put them up. Why not? Have I been able to decorate like this yet? No. Okay, well, the computer is going to have to wait, I guess. I'll just put it here on the floor. There we go. And then... The TV. Nope, nope, not like that. It's got to be this way. Boop. Cool. Let's go look for some more old world goodies. Now these were pants that I threw to the ground. I don't really want those. I kind of do want one of these chairs, and then I'm going to check that shelf. Because what I can do with this is pick up the mattress, put down the chair. mattress here and then pick up the computer there we go folding chair Oh, a green poncho and then a canteen. Mod Authentic Z. Can be used to collect rainwater when placed outside. Okay. Put that on the table. Let's go check some of the other ones. I don't know why I still have the machete in my hands. Two useless items. Another generator. Sheet. Some jeans.
Look at all these dead zombies. Anyone got a pair of shoes that's not bloody? Doesn't seem like it. Leather strips. I should add padding to my clothing at some point. Another generator, so that's three of them here. I like that stretcher bed. I might grab that instead of having that mattress on the ground. Ooh, lots of stuff here. Most of it's kind of junk. Hmm. Okay. I checked these. Arch Ridge map. I think I've seen one before. Nope. Don't do that. Okay. Fertilizer. Tire pump. Comfy couch. Alright. Let's check these ones. We'll start at the bottom and go up. Another empty bucket. I'm gonna have plenty of water when I'm here. I won't have a way to boil it. Haven't found a cooking pot again yet. Oh, empty gas can. That's huge. Oh, look at that. A pair of sneakers. The herbalist, I already know it. I'll grab these books, though. All right. That was a good find. Table. Nothing. White jacket scarf. Go ahead and wear that for right now. In fact, give me those. Fishing net trap, I definitely want. All right. Lots of cool stuff. Lots of cool stuff. Let's get it all on the shelf. to close. I'm going to go ahead and put the jars up here with the food. Makes sense. Cool. I think that 
that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and drop these buckets. More than just made it, too. We're already setting up progress already on the first day. Too bad I don't have a book to read. I say that like every time I sit down with nothing to do. How's my carpentry? It's progressing into five. It's getting there. Tomorrow, I might look at spending the day fortifying this place just a bit. Like that front gate area. I might try to build a wall and a door. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know how much... Maybe I should spend the day clearing out zombies tomorrow instead. Decisions, decisions. Where's that car that had the gas in it? It's. I know it's a long way from me, but... Where is it? Oh, there it is. Look how far off it is. Here it is. I'm way up here. So, that's a lost cause. I know there's gas here, though. Let's add a little note that there's there is gas there. There's also the gas station here in town. But um I can't work a generator. So just like what did me in in the, the CDDA challenge, I'm gonna have to go looking for it. And that's, that's always easier said than done. Especially when you have very rare loot. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward the time here. Did I lock this? <laughs> Let's lock the door. Night Terror. It's a new place. Uh, Conrad's not really used to it here. He's also seen some shit by now. Three hundred sixty-seven zombies in a little over a week. So yeah. Things are rough. Let's equip the flashlight. And uh let's grab a little something to eat. Let's Eat. I don't have a whole lot of food. Let's eat the chips. It's not enough to want to go back to bed, so I'm going to go ahead and sit down on my mattress here. I'm going to turn off my flashlight. And pack it up. 
I'm just gonna kinda pass time here. Go until about 240. Still not ready. Let's check again at 3. There we go. Seven AM. Now my baseball bat has seen better days. I wish I could have found some more duct tape. <clears throat> but that's not gonna happen. You know I'm gonna go ahead and use this instead. And I'm going to try and burn through these military boots that I have because I'm not even wearing the desert camo ones, which are the ones I'm going to want to change into as the season continues to shift. So now's the time to be wearing these boots into oblivion. Hey. Hey. Get these two. There we go. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend some time cleaning up around this building. zombies there. Let's go take a look around. Two cars right away. Let's go take a look at them. Grab that. You there, zombie. You're going to need a place to deposit these radio pots. You will be the one to receive them. Drop your coat. to check the back of this. It's locked. Of course it's locked. Two zombies. Three zombies. Four. Back up too much. There are zombies behind me. down over here. Yes! That is what I like to see. Oh. 
I'm going to be checking cars now for gas that I can siphon. Now, I'll be surprised if there is any gas in these cars. I was surprised with that white one that I found that had gasoline. But that's because the game settings, it's a whole year later. So... In real life, gasoline wouldn't even be worth anything. Uh, gasoline only has, I think, a shelf life of a year. I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to use the word shelf life, but whatever. Doesn't matter to me. I'm going to use it anyway. Denim shirt. All right. Let's head up this way. I know that there's uh, this house right before the trailer park. It's usually got some pretty good loot in it. There's some bookshelves. Oh, hello there. This is a lot of zombies. Yeah, keep standing on her. Drop those. Because they're cool. Uh, I don't think I've seen a hand fork in the area yet, so I'll drop that. Alright. Let's keep pushing up. It's only 8.30 in the morning. Please have a key or something. Has a key, but no gas. And the battery's dead. All right, this parking lot's the place to fight. Eventually. All right, go ahead and take that. I'll take the garbage bag. hot in here. Now I want to get out. Because I don't know what zombie outside behind the house heard that. So now I gotta go check. Seems like I'm good. 
I always want to do that, though. Like, if I kill a zombie inside a house, especially close to, like, a back exterior wall, if I haven't gone, like, behind the house, done one of my full loops, I leave. No, just drop it on the ground. No, I was looking for a cooking pot. Hoping for a cooking pot, but... Firework. Fireworks for 4th of July are going off pretty early this year. They've been going off for about a week and a half, and I'm hearing them now. Cool. That is everything. Okay. Let's go rooting around some of the trailers here. You know what I want to do, though, really quick? I want to sit here and go through the map for just a second and kind of figure out where I've been, what I've gone through, um, all the different things. So all of these... were looted. I got all of those buildings. Now these I'm a bit fuzzy on. I know I got these. Actually, and I know I got these because I slept in these. And I had to have gotten these ones because they're revealed on the map when nothing else isn't. That I know I didn't. I just passed by it. This was the church that I just walked past. Then I found that. And then it was several days before I was in a building. Now, one of my safe houses is this one here. These houses I didn't search, but I did get these. I got the country club. Uh, I didn't get any of these outer buildings except for that one, I believe. Yeah. Okay. I've looted this. This, this, and this. But this. Okay, and then I've been in here, and I'm getting ready to loot these two. Whew, sorry about that. I know that takes a little bit, but to be honest with you, I really like to keep track of what I've done and where I've been, and that way I don't backtrack. Let's get back to it. Come on out. Oh, what? Oh, okay, there's a door there. <laughs> that, uh... That scared me. I don't know 
where that zombie is. Why did that music start up? Oh yeah, okay. A couple of zombies saw me. At least this one did. Okay. I think I can search this now. Drink the soda. Juice box. <laughs> Is that a chicken bag? I'm, uh, I'm gonna take it. Bottle of disinfectant. Military urban camo pants. That's kind of cool. Let's go to the next one. He's making so much noise. All right. I now realize this is a door. I will take the beer. Oh, that was a can of oats. Heck yeah, I want that. All I need is a bowl now. Crackers. Come on, magazine. Well, not that one. <laughs> one of the generator magazine. There's not as many zombies here as I thought there was going to be. Ah, there they are. Let's check this car. No key. Nothing in the trunk. What kind of battery does it have? Gosh dang it. It's always in the way. When I'm doing my stuff. Alright. Battery. Dead. It's unfortunate. I need a good battery. Just one good battery. And you guys keep getting in the way. Fall over. You always fall over. There you go. Fall over. Fall over.
couldn't tell which of them I was supposed to be hitting. Stop. Look at that. Military boots. This one looks like it's all burnt up, but I'm going to try looking at it anyway. zombies than I wanted. Zombie. My favorite. I don't know why I dropped the choker. <laughs> it was different from everything else that everyone else had. Okay. Sometimes I fly through the inventory screens and I just don't take full stock of whatever it is I'm looking at. But it's because I don't want to... Ooh, a bowl. But it's because I don't want to get jumped. Oop, 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 oop. Give me those two. Wow, the bed is still... <laughs> still intact. Yeah, I can rest on it. Except for that one corner. It's destroyed, but I can still rest on it. It's funny, when it burned, this window converted to a like an like an original window. But this other side stayed. It's a little weird. Now, judging from how many zombies are here, this could actually be, like, a story house. Like, the ones that are barricaded normally in Zomboid, not from the barricaded world. The barricaded world makes it tough to discern which is which. It does a really good job of concealing which houses actually have good stuff. But I'm hearing banging on the inside, I think. Oh, look at that, though. It's because this window's open. These are useful, though. I'd love to have one of those beds. Nope. Just these. Uh, fill my water bottle while I'm here. Hunting knife. Yeah, I'll take it. 
And I'm also going to disassemble your TV. Oh, actually, check this out. So, if you disassemble the TV from here, it takes forever. If you pick up the TV and disassemble it in your inventory, boop, happens really quick. Kind of strange, huh? Just one of those many inconsistencies. Oh, look at that. So, it, it was a barricaded house. Because these are weapons. All what I use, too. Long blunt and short blunt. I'm going to go ahead and mark this trailer off. Now, I can't remember if I searched this one. Just going to poke my head in here again really quick and find out. Oh, it's locked. I don't think I did. I want to disassemble this TV, too. I know I did the long way, but whatever. I just showed you the better way, and, and I just... <laughs> never mind. You can't come in here. I'm in here right now. Ooh, a razor. That means this is my spot for the moment. They're very... inconsiderate sometimes. Melted ice cream. Nice. In case I start having any issues with my weight. Cooking pot. Empty kettle. Oh my gosh. There's so much good stuff here. This trailer had it all. Okay. Hang on a second. I need to figure out how I'm going to do this. Ooh, you know what? Bam, look at that garbage bag. Put that as secondary. Take all this stuff. Shove it in here. Okay, that's still a lot. If I clip this primary, shove this back into my... Oh, I guess I can't. Shove that into my bag. And that into my bag. Still doesn't help. What about the baseball bat? I can't use it right now. Nope, still doesn't help. Okay, whatever. Uh, real quick. Let's go ahead and mark off this one, this one, and this one. Oh, and that's the burned one, so actually... I can go ahead and mark off that one as well. I'd say that's a good morning spent looting. <laughs> no, I don't want to fight. So I'm just going to go ahead and run. Which probably isn't the best thing for me, because it's going to tire me out. Oof, but I have no choice. There are a lot of zombies here, and I'm carrying a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to book it. Yep, I am just going to book it back. I do not recommend doing this. The correct response was drop everything and fight them, but... I couldn't afford to do that right now. Okay. 
Let me drop all this stuff. Uh, just drop, drop. All this stuff on there. The bowl. That, that. I know I probably shouldn't be organizing this right now, but I'm going to anyways. Books. Books. Medical, food, let's just put these on there. Shovel, razor, machete, hunting knife, extra baseball bat. And then over here, clothes. out the thing. There you go. I figured that only a few would follow me back, but I also knew that they would be close. That's why I didn't rest before coming out. It's not going to take me long to finish them off. I can go rest before I take on the rest of the group. Oops. I don't know why that wasn't registering to me that the door was closed. All right. Let's take a cigarette out real quick. Let's have a cigarette on our way to fight. wanted to make sure that none actually made it in. <sighs> Looks like I lost most of them pretty early on. are already hard to see and hard to navigate. I don't need the zombies fucking it up for me even more. <laughs> I'm not going to take beta blockers for this fight. There's not that many of them. screwdriver on me anymore. That's okay, I can pick him up. Hmm. There wasn't as many as I thought there was. I thought there was a bigger group that was following me. Let's see what other trouble I can get into up here. You want to 
come off into the grass for me, please? You too. Just there we go. Let's head up the road. I wouldn't mind trying to clear a way to the gas station so I could get a generator up there. So eventually, if I do find a, a generator magazine, I could hook it up couple cars down here. And more than just a couple zombies. Just want to check behind me, make sure I'm doing okay. That guy's got a, a baseball mitt on or something. No, just carrying some tainted meat. <laughs> All right, then. OK, there's a few up here. Check the cars another time. Oh. Oh, those are gold labels. Those are the good cigarettes. <laughs> I haven't seen a pack of those yet. So there's some zombies here at the mechanic shop. They're banging on those beautiful red doors. Let's see if I can get up to them in time to save them. I'm getting tired. Back door is barricaded. No. Stay down. <laughs> I couldn't fix my orientation. Shouldn't have tried to go this way. Well, now I can't even do this, because I'm both exerted and tired now. So it's time to go. 
As much as I actually wanted to get into that building today, um, it's not worth it. That stuff will be there tomorrow. So for now, I'm going to pick up these. So, oops, the soda and snack machine here. I'm going to bring those back to base. can't turn the computer around there, which is kind of annoying, so I'm just going to go ahead and place it out here for now. Same with the radio. I guess I'll start storing the watches for now, seeing if maybe I can get a hold of a book. If not, I can always disassemble them another time, but um, for now, it'll be all right. So I think what I'm going to do here back at the base... Well, first I'm going to rest. I'm going to rest. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around and disassemble things. So this seems like a good time for the first break. I'm just going to go ahead and let the character rest here. And um, I'll be right back. All right, real quick break. That one was fast. I think I'm gonna go around and attempt to disassemble a bunch of things. Stuff that has been left behind. Uh, first. Okay. Ah. <laughs> I'm just derping a lot today. I just, I can't help it. That's what I wanted to do. Now 
Now, it's not going to give me a whole ton of XP. But because I have Carpenter, I get that 125% boost. So, 452. 473. So, it's not bad. The collection of nails is nice. Now, what I'm hoping to do here... I'm hoping to get enough wood to one make a water collector and two I want to be able to barricade some of the windows up in that first building to keep the zombies out place doesn't have a door, so. The other thing this is going to let me do is turn my baseball bats into spike baseball bats. Which is something I really want to be able to do. It's going to improve their damage. Now, these are four metal sheets in here. If I could find a propane torch, that would be awesome. So, I think I'll wait to barricade the windows until I get done searching the warehouses, which I am going to try and fit into the stream. I would like to do that tomorrow. Uh, I'll head out there and see what, what the zombie population looks like out there. Because from in here, it looks pretty bad. But not to a point where it wouldn't be manageable. I think I could kill all those zombies. Now I wish I could find a grill. Something I could use to cook with. I'm going to save that little table. I might use that in my house. This is going to help improve my strength carrying this stuff around. It hurts, but it will help. My strength is slowly going up. Now, if I can get enough planks and use those metal sheets for the windows instead, uh, I'll look at building that wall and door that I was talking about at the front. It would mean I wouldn't be able to get a vehicle in here very easy, but that's okay. I'm willing to make that sacrifice. I don't think I'm going to get a vehicle for a while. Zomboy has a way of surprising me sometimes, but every vehicle I've come across has been pretty messed up in one way or another. Mostly the battery and the gas. Pretty standard, but I'm sure as soon as those problems are solved, another will arise. Just the way things go. I could always make a campfire out here, I suppose, to cook with. And that might be what I'll do, and I'll grab up all the scrap wood to burn. As of right now, I've got 53 nails. Almost a whole other box. It's half a box, at least. So 
run all the way down. I've been waiting for my sprinting to go up. What was on this shelf? Padlock, rake, paintbrush. Okay. There's one zombie there, but I'm too tired to go fight. I would, but I'm too tired. Well, this is just a bunch of dead. I don't know what I would need the sheets for, but I'm going to go ahead and take them. This is one of the generators. I think I'll take this one back to the safe house. Not that I actually plan on hooking it up there, it's just... I might as well take it back. All right, let's get the generator back. Again, at least I know where they are. Like, that's, that's the big thing. I'll go ahead and stick it in here. And then I'll drop all the planks I have. Hello, dead zombie. Would you like a butt? Yes, you would. More fireworks going off. Oh, right. That's the little table. That had nothing. Let's cross over. This has a nice table. I like these tables. So I'm actually going to disassemble two of these chairs. And I'm going to take this table back with me because I like it. <clears throat> like I said, I am kind of decorating a little bit too. I haven't... Decorating my base is one of my favorite things to do in this game, just because it's it's one of those chill moments where I still feel like I'm doing something, interacting with the game, and uh, it's fun. It's nice to take a place that kind of looks crappy and, you know, not lived in in an apocalyptic area and make it lived in. So I'm going to drop this table probably just right here for now. I'd like to go get that stretcher bed too. And I can take the chair. I'll just take the chair and put it here for now. Let's go grab the stretcher bed. I want to move that mattress off the floor. I don't want to sleep on the floor like that. Not that it actually matters, but whatever. Here's me wishing I kind of had those duffel bags now. But they had to stay behind. There's no way around it, unfortunately. Does she have good shoes? Yeah, they're bloody, but 
Also good socks. Oops. <laughs> Wanted to lock it. Disassemble that. A tennis ball? Yeah, I'll take that. Grab the stretcher bed. It's actually light enough to where it can fit in my bag. Here's the other generator. I might consider grabbing it while I'm here. Holding chairs. This storage unit seems bigger than the rest of them. Maybe I should have moved into like a corner one. I'm not stuck in the one spot. I can always grab stuff and move it into the one if I want to. Those corner ones look like they have a little more space though. Yeah, these ones seem smaller. How's this corner one? It doesn't seem as big as the other one. That one kind of does. This one here seems like it has more space. Oh yeah, it definitely does. Yeah, I want to live in here. <laughs> this, this is the one that I want to live in. So I'm actually just going to grab a few things and move some stuff over here. It's already got a shelf, so it's not a super big deal. I don't want to even store stuff in that. I just want to get it out of here. I'm not going to focus too much on moving stuff. I'm just not doing anything else right now because it's 8 o'clock, so I'll store some stuff into these. dog's freaking out about, but I think she wants to play with the cat, and the cat doesn't feel like playing. <laughs> Let's throw that stuff in here, too. Uh, let's grab my table. And I'll grab my chair. I'll go ahead and put those up real quick. Because I want those probably against the back wall. Yeah, like over here. Actually, right where the stretcher bed is. And then I can put the chair down. If I put the chair down like that, can I still sit in it? I can. I can actually sit at the table. So, maybe the table should go over here. I'm being a little indecisive, but I kind of like the storage unit idea, so. And now that I have a little bit more space, I'm kind of, like I said, I'm kind of excited. <laughs> So pick this up, put this here, give me the shelf, and you know what, I think I'll turn this one here just into my storage. All of this stuff can just go on this shelf then, because I want to get rid of those little cardboard boxes. Not at the moment, but I will get rid of them. They're empty now. Stretcher bed. It's going to be time to go to bed here pretty quick, so. 
gonna put the stretcher bed. Probably just like that. Can't lay on it. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, I can. I forgot you have to click on the lower one to be able to lay on them. Okay. Let's get these clothes off the floor. Shove them in here for now. Oh, I'm using a lighter, too. I don't want to use a lighter. Oh, it doesn't have a door. I forgot about this one. Oh, no, it doesn't have a door. Oh, no, it doesn't have a door. I'm going to have to build one. I want that extra space. It just feels so cramped in this little one. Maybe I'll have a bunch of different rooms. I don't know. I don't really plan on staying here and doing a whole lot. I just kind of want to look around. I just, I thought it was kind of cool. Got a little carried away, I suppose. I'm gonna take back my stuff. Put the garbage bag up here. Put the gas can in my bag again. Let's go ahead and eat some food. I'm, I'm hungry. How's my weight doing? Oops. I'm at 81. I'm actually going up quite a bit. Let's just drink a beer then. That'll be enough to hold me over until the morning. Oh, wow. It's actually raising my weight. <laughs> Oops. Um, I don't really want to start exercising yet because... I don't have a, like, a home home. I'm still doing a lot of fighting. It'd be one thing if I could just, like, pass a ton of days and just do a bunch of, like, fitness and be super safe, which I could totally do here, and I have the food, I have the resources, but it's just not what I want to do right now. I woke up with a night terror at 6 a.m. Conrad does not like sleeping in here. Can't say I blame him, but it's not that bad. <laughs> All right, so I want to be careful about what I'm bringing with me today. Um, part of me wants to bring all of my tools. I don't think I'm going to need the nails. I still have plenty of cigarettes, so let's put those away. Just in case I get hurt. How many beta blockers do I have? I'm almost out, so I want to bring a new thing of beta blockers. The vitamins are something I want with me today. Let's go ahead and have a can of peaches. I need to go on a little bit of a diet. Gotta stay off some of the fatty foods for right now. So a bowl of peaches for breakfast isn't a bad choice. 
Yeah. Wasn't quite enough, though, was it? Guess I'll have a bowl of carrots, too. That doesn't sound very good to wash down peaches, but... To each their own, I suppose. I mean, Conrad Calloway does consume that of the Sunday special from Spongebob, so... Let's not judge what he's unwilling to eat too much. Oops. Okay, just want to make sure I'm throwing away the correct trash. <laughs> Alright, so I don't need that. I am going to want to take some food with me today. I guess it'll be the fruit cocktail? Let's, let's just do the can of pineapple. That should be all right. Now, I also need to fill up my water bottle. I do have a spare on me. Let's run in and do that. And I'll just leave out this way too. So I've got the other uh, nightstick on me. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and try and use this one up. It's a cop. Holster and a good looking shirt. I plan on just ditching these zombies. Just like that. I imagine there's many more where that came from. Let's try to be selective how I do this. I'm really interested in the car right now. Having a car would be pretty huge for me. Riverside map, ranger shirt, ranger pants, nothing of interest. What's in here? Don't know. There's a zombie out here somewhere though. Yep, right there. Always raining on my parade. map of Muldraw, <clears throat> south of Cortman Medical. Annotated map. We'll see if I ever visit Muldraw someday. What's this? Parsley? I was looking for the key, but. 
mean, I'll take parsley, I guess. What about the key for this taxi? Yeah, that's a map. I know about that. I dropped it. Key? Key! Ha ha ha! Key! Oh, well, no, come on now. Let's just... There we go. West Point map matches. Just more, more matches. There's a little bit of gas in here, but the battery is dead. I might be able to fix that if I can find a car with a working battery. Or if I can get into the mechanic shop. Another lighter, good lord. Okay, so this taxi here, that's, that's one worth keeping an eye out on. two more cars here. I wouldn't mind getting a look in. So far, my nightstick seems to be holding up just fine. Oh, but as soon as I say that, it Drops in durability. That's a big group. Oh. I never turned my back into a spiked one. That's sad. Let's hope I find another one. zombie there has a bag on its back. Ooh, any depressants? Not that I really need them, but nice to note they're there. Okay, here comes the zombie with the bag. Are there any other bags? No, just the one. It's just a backpack, but every bag is helpful. Oh, look at that. There's even chips in it. Not that I can eat those right now. I'm getting kind of fat, but... Not really. It's pudgy, that's all. Not wrong with little pudge. Especially in the apocalypse. <laughs> Try to use my shoes as much as I can. Maybe one or two right here by smacking this guy. Okay, well, that's a little more than one or two. Okay, two misses. Their digital watch. How am I doing without the book? 
electrical well it's 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 getting there it is getting there i'm about halfway now so that's that's good even without the book i'm still making progress slow but i'm making progress okay let's see about breaking this window Another lighter. I can't say no to lighters. Not after CDDA, I just can't. See, and this is what I was saying when I was going through it. I'm almost certain that CDDA has its own kind of loot tables. I'm almost positive. I never have that much trouble getting a lighter in matches. It's just ridiculous. There's a bludgeoned up car over here. Can't really see what's beyond this because the roof won't cut away. It's hard to tell that that's the roof. There we go. <clears throat> Some windows there. The group back here, just a small one. Never mind. <laughs> it's not so small. Check this car. Looks pretty rough, though. Yeah. Nothing special about this baby. see if it's got any gas on it. I have to pull the gas can out in order to check. I'm pretty sure you have to have it in your primary inventory for it to pop up. Yeah, so no, there's no gas in there. Guess I'm going to work on this little group to try and get through that door. Maybe some zombies on the inside will hear me and open that door and come out. Check behind me. There we go, yeah, just make sure I'm good. I don't want anything coming up behind me. Go ahead and take those beta blockers that I have. He's a beast, ladies and gentlemen. He's a beast. That was actually kind of brave of me to speed up time there. I didn't really mean to do that. <laughs> it was out of habit I did that. That's going to get me killed. Okay. And you can't click far away and check and see if there's gas in a car anymore. I should have did this when I was over here, but... No, there isn't. There's some in the taxi, but... I gotta find that taxi, a uh, new battery, and some fuel. I hear one. I don't know where it is, but... 
probably coming up on me from somewhere. Ah, there you are. Fall over. You guys are very good at that these days. Must be the warm weather. It's thawing them out. Making their joints all weak. that lady up upside the chin knocked her over come on fall over you guys have been so good about it today and this one lady wants to be defiant when I don't want to smack her with my baseball thank you zombies banging on that door, but not a whole lot I can do about that right now. But that being said, there are going to be zombies in here, so let's be careful. Let's close the door behind me. I don't want any zombies seeing me once I come in here. Oh man, this place looks gnarly. I know it's going to be a little bit darker on YouTube than what I'm seeing. And as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and try and rectify that right now. Mm, where is my... Okay, hang on a second. Ah, there it is. Something fell off his head there. Ah, ear protectors. Yeah, but look at this place. There are plenty of zombies around, too. Let's try to bring him in. I'm getting tired, or if it's the agitation. Oh, yep, yeah, I'm getting tired. Alright, I'm gonna back off. The ones that follow me, follow me, but I'm gonna go ahead and back off. That door isn't locked, so they're going to be able to open it. I'm going to go ahead and pop a squat right here. If they follow me, yep, they follow me. I don't want you getting too close to my sitting spot. How many zombies are we at right now? We're sitting at 529 zombies in nine days, one hour. Let's 
strength is still steadily going up. Little by little by little. Sprinting should level here pretty quickly. Couple of zombies that have been wandering out that came looking for me. Looks like they got this door broken, and they opened it up. Whoa! That wasn't me fat-fingering. I actually wanted to yell in there. I just didn't expect them to be right next to the door like that. I should know better. I should. I've died to that actually several times in this game. I should know better than that. I should know better than that. Hang on, everyone. I gotta take my beta blockers. You guys are giving me anxiety. <laughs> Ooh. That's not fun to swing at. There we go. A lot of dead zombies. Give me that watch. Denim shirt. That's a full condition denim shirt. I'm going to take that. Now some of those zombies... Their mask. I was gonna say, I don't know how many of those zombies came to the door and just stopped there after I yelled, but. That's how I wanted to do that. <laughs> I want to lure all the zombies out of the other side of the factory, the one where I was just in. Not not the one I was just in, but the one I was in before, before I decided to back off. I want to get them out of that side and over here. Oh. Oh. It seems to be having uh, the effect, just not the way I want it to. Don't need zombies coming up behind me. And there's a lot in there. Dude. Did you miss the invitation or are you just late on purpose? Nobody likes it when you're tardy. Come on time or don't come at all. That's what my art teacher used to tell me. She was kind of crazy, though. Respect your teachers. Don't call them crazy. But if they are crazy, keep it to yourself until after you're out of school. That's what I should have did. Nice. That exhaustion's gone. Oh, my eyes are playing tricks on me. This foliage. Thought I saw a zombie coming at me. Go ahead and smoke this real quick. That zombie there makes me a little nervous, but... I'm alright. There's more zombies down that way. I don't really want to deal with them. 
Let's see how this side looks. This side should be way more clean. WD-40, I need that. It would be nice to find a gun. I'm not going to find it here, I don't think, but it'd be nice to find one on a cop or something. So this will be what? Riverside Warehouse Key 001. As well put the matches away. He's not going to use them. All right, let me get the flashlight back up. I'm a little worried about using it because zombies will see me, but I'm going to be honest. I'd like you guys to see too. So I'm willing to put up with the danger. And that. Spare warehouse key. Let's go ahead and fill up my water bottle. Okay, not as many dangers over here. At least it doesn't seem like it. That was weird. The game like lagged a little bit. He must have been turning into a crawler and then I killed him before he, ooh, a hand ax before he flipped. Leather gloves. This big room has me nervous. Crates, crates. Okay, there are still a couple of zombies in here. I'd like to deal with the zombies before I really start looting, but... Turn the saw. Okay, I've grabbed a few, but this looks like a safe place to fight them. Actually, I want to use the baton so I don't get tired as quickly. I don't want to back up too much either, though, because I know there are zombies behind the building. So fighting and keeping them in small space is going to be tough. Military boots. Lighter boots. Okay, there aren't too many here. Let's deal with these guys. Next. 
See, this is why I use the authentic Z light, though, because I haven't seen that zombie from the authentic Z mod that just has a sledgehammer in his hands. And I don't think it's, like, cheaty to find one, because, I mean, sledgehammers are pretty rare. And, I mean, they're useful. They're a major tool in the game. And the sooner you can get one, the better, but... So I'm, I'm not knocking the fact that there, there's an NPC that spawns with one. It's just every now and again when you see, like, two of them or something, it's like... Really... Maybe one out of every, like, three warehouses I go to. Fine, but... Not at every warehouse I go to. And not... Certainly not two. That's just a little much. Okay, happy looting. Canteen. Pipe wrench. That's not a bad find. I've got plenty of buckets. I'm looking for things I don't have. Club hammers are decent weapons. Duct tape. Hammer. Club hammer. Hammer. Club hammer. Those are all decent weapons. WD-40. Now, I don't know if I'll be hiking all of this stuff back with me. I might find, like, another crate and dump off some stuff. And just kind of know where the stuff is. Some of it's not directly useful right now. Propane torch. That, however, is. Same with both those seeds. As soon as I can figure out where I'm going, as far as a place to live, I'll have an idea of what to do with those seeds. <laughs> But I'll tell you what, I don't want to live here. And I don't want to live at the storage lockers. Too small. And this? Too big. Yeah, let's go to the roof. Whew. Completely overgrown. <coughs> Another screenshot, maybe? I don't want to lose the detail in him. Eh, well, I'm gonna. Too bad. Oops. There we go. <clears throat> I might make these all separate thumbnails after I finish the series. I'm not sure. But I will say one thing. This mod makes the game super, super different. Just... It feels different. Um, navigating it is different. Now that I know where I am, I, I think I'll have an easier time, but... Match this up with Pillow's random spawns. You can, you can get lost pretty easy right at the start of the game, unless you spawn somewhere where it's like, Ah, oh, I'm in West Point. Ah, oh, I'm in Louisville. Spawn out in the country like me, though. It's like, where the f fudge am I? <sighs> uh, 
Uh, how long have I been going for? Been going for two hours, 43 minutes. Okay, I've got some time here before I decide to end the stream. I like to end it at around three hours. Um, we're going to poke around just a little bit longer, try and find some more stuff in some crates, and then call it good. But I'm not quite ready to leave yet. Let me grab that flashlight so you guys can see a little bit better. Get up here and deal with this guy. This nightstick has been doing a really good job hanging on for me. Oh, there are several zombies still in here. I've still got my work cut out for me. The stream might carry a little over three hours. I kind of hope not, but... We'll see. Here they come. Here they come. This is where all the big crates are, though. Or the big stash of crates. It's on this side of the warehouse, so I want to be over here. check these crates. Alderman. Empty bucket. Axe. Found an axe. Another propane torch. Okay. Let's go ahead and open up this can of pineapple and eat that. I'm getting pretty hungry here and it's affecting how much I'm able to carry. Another thing I want to do, I have a denim shirt as much as I'd like to take that with me. I also don't need the three club hammers. Let's go deal with this joker. Hey, no, 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 no. You're not allowed to go over here. I just, I just cleared this spot. You're not supposed to be here. Oh, okay, there's a few actually down here. And another person that just came in. I was scared of that. No, no, stay down. You don't get to try and jump me and then just get up. Wait. Yeah, I was gonna say things seem quiet and then all of a sudden I heard footsteps. <laughs> Every time I open my mouth, man. Every time I open my mouth. Come on. 
maybe a wood axe. Potato seeds. Another propane torch. Welding rods. I think I actually need those for certain projects. Okay. Well, let's go back over here to this side. Wood glue. I definitely want the wood glue. Propane torch. Okay. Okay. I'm going back. I got a lot of stuff. It's time to head back. Let's check out some cars on the way. Actually, kind of want to fight for this car. I know I'm tired. It is going to bring my damage down by a lot. be here tomorrow. Black truck. Let's have a cigarette. Jump the fence. See you, fellas. That's a victory right there. That axe. That's huge. few of these things in here. Now that was a good run. Found an axe. Didn't find a sledgehammer. That's fine though. I, I don't even really know if I'd be able to take a sledgehammer with me. Not unless I can get one of those cars up and running, which is gonna be my next 
major priority is looking for a vehicle. I have a lot of stuff now, way too much to be able to carry with me. And I know I don't want to stay in Riverside. Um, I might want to go poking around in Riverside, but I don't want to live here. I don't really know where I want to live yet. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I want to live yet. I'll figure it out, though, for sure. So, I think that's going to be it for me today. Appreciate everybody coming out, as always. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.